Shannon of Shipwreck Samantha here and welcome to episode 3 of How to Use Procreate. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to use your brushes. This is something I didn't know when I first started drawing, but when you click your brushes up here, you will have a list of the different brushes you can use and they're in different categories. So this one is sketching, so it has things like a 6B pencil, a shading graphite, things like that. And it goes on, inking, painting, artistic, airbrushing textures, but this is something I didn't know for quite a while. If you scroll, there's more. There's abstract, charcoals, elements, spray paints, touch-ups, retro, luminance, industrial, organic, and water. So there are quite a few categories to choose from, and all of these have been so helpful for me in saving time. Now. If you want to use a specific brush, let's go to painting and say we want to use the water brush. Now with the Apple Pencil, I can change the opacity on here with the pressure I put on it. But for this example, you can see I'm using the full opacity on this water brush. And say I don't like the texture of it, I can go and edit it by clicking the brush and it will take me to this brush editor. There are a lot of different options on here and I recommend just playing around with it. So. There's different sections, stroke, shape, grain, dynamics, pencil, general, and source. So you can change things such as the spacing, the jitter, um, the start of the stroke and the end of the stroke, opacity, you can change the shape, scatter it more or less. There is so much you can do with this and instead of trying to explain every single thing on here, I recommend just playing around with it yourself. And you can always reset the brush back to its original setting by clicking the reset button up here. And it will remove all of the changes you made. Now say you don't like any of the brushes in here for what you need, you can just click the plus sign right here and you can create an entirely new brush. And you can create shapes from photos you have, import the photos, and then work from there. So there's so much you can do with this. You can create awesome and crazy looking photos by doing this. And just from taking that photo right there, I just created a brush. So you can go edit these brushes, do what you want. You can see my face all in there. <laughs> and just play around with it. Try and make new brushes yourself for what you need. Take pictures of textures you really like and use that for brushes. So say there's a piece of wood that I think looks really cool, just take a picture and you can import it in here and turn it into a brush yourself. One last thing you can do is you can also create a new set of brushes for all of your custom brushes you've made. You can name it, add brushes into there. I think that's a really great tool as well. So play around with it, try out the different brushes, just kind of scribble around all crazy on the canvas and see what works for you. And that is how you use the brushes.